Welcome to this flip through of this beautiful coloring book Flowerscape by Maggie Anterios, a Chicago based illustrator. And this is her first coloring book. Before I start to flip it through, I'm going to show you it's beautiful even on this side and it has soft covers. And when it comes to size, I wanted to compare it compare it to some books you might have. This is uh, Johanna Bessler's World of Flowers, the square books. So you can see this is a bit smaller. I also have a book of Lulomeo. She has, I think all her books have this size and it's the same as long as this book, but bigger on this side. Okay. There is a flip through with just music if you prefer those. This is a flip through with talk. So, flowerscape. It has this book belongs to page and it says a welcome to flowerscape. So this is a book if you like to color quite realistic flowers and leaves and some birds and other small animals, but mostly it's flowers, as you can see. Here is the introduction. And the paper feels really good. It's quite thick. I know some coloring books, you can see the picture from the, the illustration from the back on this side. You can't on this. I think this will work well with a lot of different kind of mediums. But I haven't tried it yet. So it starts, I also like this, I must say. She has a lot of single flowers and the name of them. So I think it's a perfect opportunity to practice, to color them, realistic if you want to. So it's this practice page, maybe you can call it. And here we have it in a scenery together with other things. And here we have two different dahlia. And here we can practice them more in a bigger page. And here we have some, can you see them? Some small and cute ladybugs. But mostly flowers and leaves. Twin flower, which we can find in this picture on the page next to it. Daffodil, more daffodils and some twin flowers, I think it is. Or maybe this, it was this one, trumpet flower. Yes, I think it was trumpet flower and golden wattle. Here we have a beautiful page with flowers and some colibris, I think. Bird of paradise together with some frogs on this page. Monstera. I really like the shape of the Monstera. And this is Morning Beauty Echeveria. I have seen some really nice colorings of these flowers. Here we have a lot of them in a kind of wallpaper-like picture. Stargazer Lily and some bees visiting these flowers on the next page. Columbine. These are, I, I, I think I will Google up pictures of these flowers and practice them before I do the other page. As you know, I don't like to color realistic so much but I really really like this this idea so I might do it in this book Crocosmia and Chrysanthemum more of those here Lily of the Valley one of my favorite flowers it smells so good and Another almost wallpaper-like picture. 
I think it's that if I would color this I would start with the background in some solid color just to make the other things pop out so they become more visible. Aster and Plumbago. Here on the bigger page. More of those. Foxglove. Another favorite flower I have tried to have it in my garden, but it doesn't like my garden very much. And here we have an hibiscus. They can be in different colors. I've had one pink and one yellow ones. Treasure flower and Ixora. Together with beautiful butterflies. In this page, yeah, you can see them. English rose. No English rose here. Another flower. Lupine and marigold. I actually think I might write down my color combinations on the pages. It would look more beautiful if I did backgrounds on all of these pictures, but I think I prefer to use them as test pages and write down the mediums and the color combinations. Ah, uh, we'll see. Another beautiful pattern-like page. Orchid. And a bouquet. Peony. My absolute favorite flower. And here I think it's just a page with different kind of leaves. So this is a nice page if you like to color leaves. Porcelain flowers. They smell so strong. We can't have them in our home. Protea. And a page with a lot of jungle feeling I think. Pansy, more pansies, viola, and the spider plant. So it's a thick book with nice paper, as you can see. More flowers and leaves. Apricot blossom, apricot blossoms with a bird in the middle, and some other flowers from this book. Trillium. So first you can practice it here and then you can make it there. Hyacinth. Hybrid tea rose. More tea roses. Morning glory. Some snails. Do you call them snail when they have shells? Frisia and Cosmos. Frangupani. I don't know this flower. I think I need to Google it up. To understand what flower it is. Daphne. Sinja and Fuchsia in Swedish. Fuchsia, I think it's in English. Some berries together with the flowers here. And the last page. And here is uh, some information about the illustrator. So a beautiful First coloring book, I think, by Maggie. And a really nice size and nice paper. I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.